Yo, it's Duff of the Cloud Chaser TV, man. We back up in this thing again, you dig? Hey, man, we got some news to report when it comes down to Honeycomb Brazy. Now, Honeycomb Brazy, y'all know he's been turning up ever since he released from prison. You know, currently, I believe he's on house arrest, but he ain't letting up. He's been putting out a bunch of music videos as well as he just dropped the tape. Now, Honeycomb Brazy was originally signed to, I believe, Rap A Lot, Mob Ties. You know, he was signed through J Prince Sr., and um, y'all seen, you know, the connection with him and Finesse. He's to say free Finesse, even on the, the hit song, the viral song with Jay Prince. He mentioned uh, free Finesse on that video, right? And um, I guess he didn't get the same love while he was in jail that he was Finesse when he was out of jail, you feel me? And um, it's definitely a situation where now they're beefing. So Honeycomb Brazy is saying that Finesse is a rat. You know, we heard about these allegations a few months back where some dude came out with some paperwork, but allegedly they can't find that dude no more. And I'm going to play some footage from FNG No Love, which is Finesse, two times brother. And his brother is basically trying to clear up some of the things that he's been saying as well as about the, he addressing the snitch rumors. And we're going to get to the content where I got the audio of um, Honeycomb Brazy responding to J Prince, Big 30, as well as on um, Finesse Two Times, um, brother. So let's get it, man. Let's get it. You cool. I'm gonna smack the shit out you. Yeah, that's in front of everybody. Yeah, oh, XAT, that's in front of everybody. I'm gonna smack the fuck out you when I see you, fool. Real talk, because you a real fool. You get out of jail, you jump in the back seat, you jump in the middle, come out another, then you shoot to a whole nother different spot. You see what I'm saying? Come on, man. I'm going to tell you how my experience from the like, I used to f***ing little to Alabama. Like, her folks stayed like two, three, two, three houses down from his mama house. You see what I'm saying? I'm outside his mama house on the curb looking at the house. I see bullet holes in this shit. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, fool, them folks really sliding on you out there, fool. Your bitch dad went to Birmingham because you didn't want to go to Mobile. Because them folks going to stink your bitch ass. Real talk, fool. Your grandma, your granddaddy dead, fool. When you out here playing, fool. But get what? You you get on here talking about, man, I'm just janking. Bro, we don't even say janking in Memphis, homie. You know what I'm saying? We don't even say janking, homie. You hear me? Man, that shit lying in here. You gonna, you gonna whoop your way, bro. You gonna spike your way, bro. You playing. Then you playing games. You throwing threats out. You know what I'm saying? All that over some little money. I knew you weren't straight. You hear me? Man, you sent your little 1200 your little 1500 you got for this, man. You know what I'm saying? You just like one of these wretched, man, fucking foot dragging black out here. You reached out to a real in jail on some group and a talk show. Yeah. Now get in blood. You talking about, yeah, talk your bitch ass. Yeah, you got for this. You talking about personally. You talking about the hang that trophy on. You got finesse person. So he's saying he got finesse. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's saying that the finesse is finesse honeycomb brazy, and that's why he mad. He got finesse. You know, it's crazy, though. Y'all remember that it was saying that uh, that finesse two times was sending his brother to do some of his concerts. They do look alike, bro. FNG, no love, do look like finesse two times. He's just a smaller version. But y'all heard about allegedly finesse supposed to have been went under surgery. And that's why he ain't really been taking pictures or showing his face. So when he come out, he might look like Ben Man Kevo. Let's get it. Somebody got shit for you. Yeah, the big mom tied something. You got out with man. Come on, man. That little shit around your neck, man. And before that, you had the little ass mom tied joint. Yeah. It's on the pitch on the thumbnail. Big joint. You hear me? <laughs> this shit is bigger man, than for you. Hey, wow. man. Play on my. The brother, man, that man a real boss. That man out here handling real business, fool. You hear me? Man, that man ain't stun your way, fool. You hear me? Real talk. Come on, man. Come on, man. You must don't know, man. I know the whole scoop on you, honey. Call. Do what you want to do, let do it, homie. You hear me? Because I could have been saying something while you were locked up. Now I want to show get out here on these streets so I can say it in your face. So I can see what's going to happen. Yeah, fool. Damn. Knock all your diamonds out your mouth, fool. Keep on cheating. I call you. They were wrong with these fool. They were stopping money, fool. We don't even do that. You hear me? Man, come on, man. Violence, man. We don't even really condoning it no more. Man. 
Cause I heard getting money, man. You must ain't heard, man. You been locked up, man. Cause I heard getting money, man. You talking about bagging, bro. You talking like these, bro. Hey, bag middle with bro. Bro middle with bag. You for middle with each other. You know what I'm saying? Real man shit. Real grown man shit. You see what I'm saying? Eh, hey, fool. Eh, hey, fool. Don't forget they set. You came home on some shit. Come on, honeycomb fool. This is honeycomb brazy, y'all. He responded to this his brother, as well as some more rumors. Um, for some reason he, he's speaking on Big Thirty. They saying so. Let me play it. Hey man, I don't want niggas throwing back in China and shit like that. Like for real. You see what I'm saying? A nigga had so many phones in jail, like. Man, I'm really like that. And you talking about finesse me out some money. Why was a real nigga with your brother? That boy, I got messages the boy begging the fuck out of me. See what I'm saying? You know, I keep everything. I don't know why y'all go down with brazen. Like, I don't keep all the dirt. You know I keep all the dirt. I got your brother saying all nah, type of shit. Don't fuck with them niggas. You don't need nothing, nigga. Mike, you just need me. We locked in. I don't got to lock in with your brother. I was already blowing up. Your brother locked up. Dumb ass nigga. He had about two years left. How the fuck I'm using him for clout? He got two years left to do. And nigga, I'm on the street blowing up. Got a video of Jay Prince going viral. And I don't need this nigga. I'm turning down bad features and everything. So how the fuck I needed your brother? How? How the hell did I need it? Now nah, your brother misled a nigga turn out that bitch ass shit. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Who the woo? Who the woo? They want to kill me. You can't fuck with them. They shot little Marcus. I don't know none of these niggas. Damn. I don't know none of these niggas, man. You hear me? I don't know none of them niggas these names, bro. Like, what I'm capping for? Why I kept it real with home? You told y'all finesse me by me sending your niggas some money when y'all wouldn't even send him no money. Your brother was telling me he cut you off. You must forgot when he first got out. You were dissing him. You must forgot you were dissing your brother when he first got out. This your brother. This y'all got the same mama. But you, bitch, ass, you fake, you flaw. Nigga ain't real. Nigga, he got everybody else running with him but you. That man said, fuck you. He told me, I don't know fuck that nigga. He can die. I kill my brother. This on my grandma. And you get your dumb ass on here do all this. That's crazy ass shit. Man, come on. See what I'm saying? I'm just, I kept it real with home. I just expect the brother to keep it back real. That's it. I'm like, I hit bro. What up? Do what you got going. Bro lied to me by my mama for Christmas. That when I cut him out, he asked me what I needed. I'm like, bro, I'm straight. You feel me? This on my grandma. I'm like, I'm straight, bitch. You know, I'm thinking. I'm like, look. Just take my mama song. It's criminal coming up. Criminal about two weeks. Then take my mama song, bitch. Shoot my mama song. I'm good. You know, I'm straight. My mama stay in Houston. You already up there. Shoot my mama song with criminal. And I'm good, my nigga. That's all I add. On white, you know, I got you on blood. On blood, you hear me? I'm finna do that right now. You hear me? So I called a nigga back. He ain't do it yet. Three days later went by. I hit him back like, what up, bro? You ain't gonna. What do I thought you gonna? I got you on, on blood. I got you. Sound days went by. Criminal coming up. Now, hey, what up? You finna. Woo woo. Oh man, are you rushing a nigga to rushing you? Man, that cloud ass nigga. But I ain't rushing you, hog. Like, I'm really straight. Like, yeah, I'm like, I ain't tripping. You putting on blood. Like, you finna go run that right now. You saying all this. So, yeah, I'm taking your word because, bitch, I wiped you down. I kept a tree. I linked you with the mob and everything. I'm just expecting law. So, I'm thinking you my kind of guy. You see what I'm saying? I would never tell you to pull up on my dude if I knew your heart were like that for real. You see what I'm saying? J. Prince Jr. ain't never give my mama nothing. I ain't tell Jr. to shoot my mama nothing. Baby J shot my mama son. You see what I'm saying? I hit Baby J up. Hey, where are they? Run that for me. I got money out there. Stupid ass nigga. Ask Baby J. I got money out there. I ain't never need you niggas. Never. Bro, I signed a distribution deal while I was in a Metro County jail. I signed a deal while I was locked up for like 800 grand. For like 800000 on my grandma. You just capping. Like, I did this locked up, stupid ass nigga. I signed for eight hundred grand distribution locked up in jail. Like, when I got arrested. So what did you talk about? I need y'all for I ain't never need you nigga for nothing. I was straight the whole bid. I was straight the whole bid, bro. I swear to God. I was like that. Like, I called J. Print. I called Baby J. I called Jazz. I got niggas like Mike in the cut. I got Christian in the cut. Like, these my niggas. No matter what y'all did to Christian, that's my brother. See, I'm real. Y'all talking about y'all cross a nigga that looked out for y'all. Bro, Christian, my nigga, everybody ain't no gangster. Everybody ain't just a warhead. You see what I'm saying? Everybody ain't like that. 
some nigga gotta play a position. So by y'all crossing Chris, if y'all did handle my nigga, I don't give a fuck. He still with me. He ain't gonna play with a wild brazen. You see what I'm saying? He ain't gonna fuck with around me and then so basically, he's saying that it was a potential situation that happened with one of Honeycomb Brazy homies. And he ended up getting into it with the finessers. And uh, I guess shit didn't come out right. You know, but Honeycomb Brazy is saying that, look, man, that happened then. This is now. Y'all ain't going to play with him now. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't going to run up on him now while I'm around. You feel me? And shit, man, they say that boy uh, Honeycomb Brazy like that. Now, they ain't taking nothing from uh Finesse because Finesse, like, he definitely on the list of one being one of my favorite rappers, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to say that, but um, and I looked into his background. It don't seem like there's no smut on his name, you know what I'm saying, other than the allegations that came out, which we never really seen the paperwork. I don't even think um, 1090 Jake even covered it. He said that he needs to, to be able to confirm it, and, and it wasn't able to be confirmed. So, the snitch allegations is still on the table, y'all. You know what I'm saying? But shit, it, it's just wild, man. The, these guys were so-called brothers. He said that he helped him even get that tie to mob ties. So let's get back to the content. Yeah, whatever he want to do, I want to do too. He said, whatever he want to do, I'm on it. If he say, Braves, I want all of them, we going to get all y'all. See what I'm saying? This how I rock, man. That's how I'm coming, real talk. Y'all tripping. What the fuck wrong with them? I'm taking a shit right now. I can't even take a shit because you bitch ass niggas. I don't know, bitch. I'm rid of that. Y'all talking about y'all doing all that fake ass shit, making it look like it real. Where, where, where they do that at? I right. Christian got out, put the chain on. All right, let me explain this shit. Christian put the watch on this nigga for next. That Christian watch he had on his wrist out the gate. That was Christian chain he put on this nigga out the gate. You see what I'm saying? Christian took that nigga to the mall, bought him clothes, bought him all the designer. Christian did this. And then you talking about y'all up fine, strip him naked. What type of shit y'all niggas on? I yeah, that is some snake shit. So the dude who Christian put him on, put Christian the one gave him the chain and did all that, made sure, you know, because they came through with the private jet. And that's what Finesse two times, that's what uh, Honeycomb Brazy was saying, like, damn, I can't even get this type of love from y'all. And I just came home, but like, what's to it? Like, Finesse get all his love and shit. But Finesse came off that jet, you know what I'm saying? We seen it. Uh, what was that? First day out? Was it first day out? I shout out Stan G. Stan G told me, yo, look at my man's finesse two times. I had never even heard of finesse. I ain't gonna lie to you. So I checked out that uh, that shit and checked him out. And then when he dropped, I listened to the song. I'm like, damn, this nigga going in. You feel me? Then he came out with the back yeah. end. Then he came out with hit out the hit. You feel me? He been busting ass since. I told Christian, look, deal with finesse, bro. I'm locked up right now. Make sure finesse straight while I'm locked up. That's why Christian went to dealing with this nigga, man. And y'all do my boy like that. If y'all ain't even strip them, nigga, did all that lame man shit. Y'all just and on anyway. But y'all cross the mic, y'all all fight, but y'all ain't point no gun at him or nothing. But like, what what y'all niggas on? Like, what's real about that? What's real about that? Like, what's real about y'all crossing a nigga up and finding a nigga that pit the chain and watching your neck? Like, what's up when you like you had so much smoke with money band now when you go there and shake their hand and do a video? You see what I'm saying? You cross braids out, fuck braids is. I'm not even stay you little nigga. This ain't even nothing. But like you cross me, I I walk you down, send your money, pitch down with the mob. Christian pick you up, private jet, chain on your neck. You know what I'm saying? Put the watch on your wrist, take it to the mall, design you down, Javis you down. I'm right here on the phone. You see what I'm saying? But you cross all us out. Then the nigga you act like you really want to kill that shots your little partner up and shit and did all this. You go back and link with them and throw their bread game chain on. Go to the game, sit courtside with Big 30, everybody. Like you just tell him to pull size the bitch ass nigga. You don't fuck with pool size. Oh, you ain't want me fucking with bro. You ain't want me fucking with Big 30 either. You see what I'm saying? And Big 30 pulled up on me in Atlanta. On my grandma, I respect Big 30. Big 30 really solid. I give him that because get what? When I start fucking that clown that nigga for that, boom, you know me. Big 30 pull up. I'm in 1800. I'm 1800 exclusive. You see him? The nigga pull up on me. They own that bitch. Hey, you, you fuck with Big 30 now? Like, shit, I 